Are you sick and tired of being triggered? Have you often found yourself producing a show when something unexpected happens? Was it a ghost? Maybe a slippery finger? Perhaps it was just a trigger that you forgot about. Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about the Triggers Manager available in vMix 25. G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here. In vMix 25, we've added a Triggers Manager to the hamburger menu of vMix so you can quickly see any triggers that you might have in your production. You can also very quickly enable and disable them from this area as well. If you are new to vMix, a trigger can be added to your input to perform a function. For example, on a certain action, let's say when my video ends, I can automatically trigger a transition to my camera. And this kind of helps automate your production a little bit. Now we have an in-depth video on triggers that I'll link below in the description. Now I don't actually have any triggers on this production yet, so I'm going to quickly add a couple so that we can see them in the Triggers Manager. So what I need to do firstly is I'm going to select this Bees video here, and I'm gonna go down to the bottom right hand corner and go into the Input Settings. From here, I'm gonna to go to Triggers, and now I can set up some triggers. So on the completion of this video, I wanna to fade to my camera. I'm gonna click Add. And also on completion, what I wanna do is overlay my title in overlay uh, channel one. So I'm going to select the title here and I'm just gonna leave a slight delay. So let's go with two second delay. So now I have two triggers set up on this video file. When it completes, it's gonna to fade to my camera and overlay my title. So let's go ahead and close this down now. And let's just switch to this B's video. So I'm gonna transition this over and you'll see that when it gets to the end of the video, it'll switch back to my main camera here and it's going to overlay my title. So let's wait for this to finish and let's go ahead and see that. And then after a couple of seconds, overlays my title. Wow, amazing. So that's what triggers are. So if you wanna know a little bit more about that, check out our main triggers video. So now we wanna access our triggers manager. So what I'm going to do now is go to the hamburger menu in the bottom right hand corner and then select triggers manager from this menu here. So this is called the hamburger menu in vMix. So there's a bunch of different things here that you can access. And now one of them is the triggers manager. All right, so on the screen here, you'll see any triggers that we have set up in our production. You'll see the input that it's on, and then you'll see any details that are associated to it, like the actual trigger, the function, the duration, and all that kind of stuff is all listed on this screen now. Now you can enable or disable the trigger from this menu as well, just by ticking or unticking this box on the far left. Now, this area is also pretty handy because you can select this bees video here and quickly jump to the input settings if you wanted to make more changes to triggers, perhaps add a new trigger. So all I need to do is select it and then click on go to input settings and it's automatically going to go to my bees video here and then I can make even more changes to my triggers here. I could edit them or I could add new ones if I wanted to. So in a perfect world, you would check all of your settings prior to doing a production. But sometimes you may not have time or somebody might have sneakily added a trigger and forgotten to tell you. Not that it's ever happened to me in the past. Well, maybe, maybe it has, but I don't wanna really talk about it. Anyway, so the Triggers Manager gives you a place where you can quickly check your production for triggers and easily enable and disable them if you need to. So that's the Triggers Manager in vMix 25. It was added in vMix 25.0.0.31. So you may need to update if you don't have the latest version of 25 to see it. Obviously, if you've got a newer version of vMix, it will always be in there as well. So if you have any questions, we find that YouTube comments don't work great for technical diagnosis. So instead, feel free to just drop us an email via the vMix.com support page. So thanks for watching and we will stream you later.